Yo, what's good you guys? Today we're going to be on the court. Oh, let me preface this though, because this is not Kick Genius. I repeat, <laughs> this is not Kick Genius. So when we're going through these, these are just to set up our movement. Like we're trying to get into the groove of like really breaking our defender down. A lot of hit and go, a lot of hit and go. And that's what these are used for. So I'm not gonna be going through them like I was back in the day. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying to get straight to the point. Uh, kind of breaking up my movements a little better than I have in the past. That's one of my goals this year, to just kind of be able to uh, just have a better change of speed. I'll give y'all that clown shit that y'all like from Kick Genius. I got y'all. <laughs> I don't want to get into that. You know? <laughs> I'll do it for y'all. <laughs> I just wanted to preface that because they're going to be like, or you guys may be like, ah, oh, he ain't going through them. You're like going to have a good to. crispy move that's going to work in the NBA, but if you don't do the old Kick Genius from 13. Yeah. The, yeah. Well, I'm going. Th yeah, yeah. I, I ain't doing that. But, <laughs> man, I hope you guys enjoy the video. We're going to be working out. I got Trey with me. Let's get into it. Okay. All right. All right. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. That's it. Harder, ain't it. It'll pick up as we go. Ooh. 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 Oh, you still got it. That was easy. Why are you doing it the second time? Ooh. It looked good, though. Ooh. All right, give me one where you dunk something at the end or something. What? How that looked like you was gonna, that's a good dunk tip right there. Uh, between. Size up. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, hey. Yup. That's what do we want. want. Do they want the Blake Griffin? I think they do. Oh, okay. Super fly too. Okay. I'll give him the D'Angelo right here and then turn it into the Blake. Okay, okay, yeah. Why well, put that much pressure on myself? Not bad. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, hey. I almost really slid right there. Here you go, one for the old time for real. Okay. Oh, I know, yep. <laughs> Dang it! I wanted to get the first time too. Mm. That's done. Cross. Hey. Get in. Dang. I don't know if I'm gonna snatch under. Uh oh, he's starting to dribble different. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, dang. Ooh. Hey. Ooh, hey. Oh, I get so high. One thing at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I got real extra real fast. <laughs> Hey. Hey. And one. If I get that again. Yeah. I'm finna get it one time. Okay, keep going. So for me again, like anytime I get like a full head of uh, a steam, like when I'm attacking my defender, anytime I can just stop, uh, because I'm using my advantage, right, my quickness. So anytime I can just stop and like find my mid range, I know I'm pretty much in a good space. You know what I'm saying? So I like to kind of come boom and then shoot that. So if I can come down, I'm going downhill. That's that's gold. You know what I'm saying? Boom, line them up into a shot. Ball on the outside of the pinky toe. Okay. Oh my goodness. What'd he do though? See, his movements are just so subtle though. All right, hold on, let me see. I need to, I need to see that. Where's that first, first dribble is placed to where? Okay, so outside foot rotates in. That's in place. That one's slightly out cross. Pull up. I'm gonna have to really watch it. Boom, 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 boom. Did he put it down with his right hand? It's almost both. Oh, it was okay. Like a drop. It's almost like that uh, that cross jab. It's almost like this. Yeah, yeah. It's almost it. <laughs> okay, so I need to boom bring. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. 
Oh. 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 That first one didn't go out though. It did, huh? What's good YouTube, J. Jones in the building and today we will be discussing the Nike PG4. Now you guys know how I like to do my reviews, man. I kind of only want to touch on a few things, the, the more noticeable things on the shoe. I want to touch on the cushioning, I want to touch on the fit, and just how I feel that this is kind of a big step in the right direction for PG and Nike basketball. So. Let's get into it. So just starting off with the basics, you pretty much have one piece. You have this shroud, you have the zipper that's attached to the shroud. And again, that's all going to impact the fit. Here's the thing, the shoe is pretty narrow. I'm not gonna lie about that. I think the recommended thing to do is to go up half a size. I saw some people saying that they had to go up a full size. I didn't have to do that, but I do think going up half a size would be key if you're looking to purchase the PG4. So you know the motto, if you were a 10, ah, just go with the 10 and a half on this one just to play it safe. With the shoe being a little more tight and a little more narrow than the previous PG models, it is a little tougher to get your foot in, but I will say once you do get your foot into the one piece and you zip this up, you're locked down. The fit to me is one of the best fitting PGs that I played in. So it kind of comes down to preference, right? If you like your shoes really, really tight, really, really snug, like I like mine, then this isn't a bad option. If you're one who enjoys a shoe with a little wiggle room, you want a, a, a wider platform, then maybe the PG4 isn't the best option for you. I actually posted a picture in these and one of my friends hit me up and was like, yo, these look like they were made for your foot. And I couldn't agree more, man. I enjoy the fit on the PG4. It's probably my favorite uh, feature on the shoe. But again, I would recommend going up half a size if you plan on cop. Now let's talk about the cushioning for a little bit. So one of the major changes with the PG4 is the cushioning. You know, the PG normally has some type of zoom embedded in the sneaker, but this year they went with air instead. And they actually put the air right underfoot, making it the actual strobe board instead of it just being placed there to give it a more noticeable feel. And I mean, they had to, right? With them switching from zoom to air, they had to find a way to make this switch uh, a little more respectable. If not, you will have people going, yo, why not just keep Zoom in the sneaker? There was nothing wrong with the Zoom to begin with. You know, just people looking for reasons to complain when they're both solid options, honestly. So the cushioning on the PG4, again, just comes down to style of play, in my opinion. If you do a lot of jumping, then you may want an option like the KD12 with full length Zoom underfoot. It's a little more firm and gives a little more on the bounce back. So again, if you're always jumping, then go with something like that. This here, this is more of a smooth low to the ground type option. Not as much bounce back, but still embracing at the same time. I didn't have any problems with the traction. The outsole seemed to perform uh, pretty well. You know, at the regular gym, just wipe how you normally would. You guys know, I said this a thousand times. It's, it's, it's solid, man. You're not gonna be falling all over the place, so you're good there. One of my favorite things, I think, is that they have the laces coming outside of the shroud a little bit. Like outside of the shroud to where you can still tie your shoes. Um, I just thought that was a cool little touch. You can rock this with the zipper like down. You can rock it halfway. You can rock it, you know what I'm saying, all the way up. Laces are intact. Pull them how you normally would. Lace up. If you don't want to zip the shroud all the way up, you don't have to. Me, I do, just because I like how it looks like this with the laces and tying the laces over the top. That's just how I like to, you know, rock mine on the court. But again, you can kind of uh, have fun, rock it however you want. So even with me talking to PG, one of the things I mentioned is that I feel like his line always stays true to him as a player. He mentioned when we talked that some of his favorite sneakers had zippers growing up. And that's why the zipper is placed. So to me, it sounds like he's getting the freedom to do what he wants with his designs. You know, the one, the two, and the three all kind of followed a really, I don't want to call it simple, but a, a really traditional structure like design pattern, whereas this one is a little outside of the box, but still kind of has that same type of structure, but different in the sense that he has more input. And to me, I'm thinking that's why you get full length Nike Air this time instead of, you know, the traditional zoom bag in the forefoot. If I had to complain, I think my only complaint would be that it is a little difficult to get your foot in just based off how narrow the sneaker is. But again, it ain't just like, Man, I can't get my foot in these at all, so if it. It's not that type of sneaker, you know what I'm saying? So if you get them in there, again, you're gonna feel really, really snug, man. But yeah, man, I like it. I honestly think the best colorway is the black one. I have two different colorways. I have both Gatorade colorways. I have the traditional 
uh, Gatorade colorway. And then I have these as well. So this was his collaboration with 2K. I haven't played in these yet just because I've just been hooping in these so much based off, you know, just trying to test them and get my thoughts together. But these look good too. They look better in person, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, man, if you're one who really just, if you're not looking for just like too much in a sneaker, a smooth sneaker, a reliable sneaker, then you know, this is, this is a good option, man. It's a solid option for sure. Again, I will base this off your playing style though, man. I feel like it's perfect for what I'm doing. I don't really try to do, <laughs> I don't really try to do a lot of jumping uh, at all anymore. The traction is there for when I want to stop. My stop and go badge is silver. So I'm not trying to do too much there either. Just when I'm on the court, man, I'm just looking to, you know, feel good, get a couple shots up, make a couple moves and just be steady on the court. And this shoe uh, allows me to do that. Are there better options or more suitable options? Of course, uh, the KD-12. A lot of people don't want to talk about the KD-12 just because KD's not hooping in it, but the KD-12 is really, really solid. Uh, if I had to kind of rank the shoes that I've tested in over the last year or so, year and a half, whenever, uh, the KD-12 is number one for me. The Jordan 34 is also up there. That's also another option. Uh, this right here, the Kyrie, are just those options that are, you know what you're gonna get because they seem to kind of be like reliable sneakers that's gonna be able to do what you want them to do on the court. But yeah, man, these are my thoughts. I'm gonna continue to hoop in them uh, just because I do like how they feel. Um, the fit more than anything, I just like how snug it is on my foot. Some of you may not like that, man. I'm not mad at you. Again, this is just based off playing style. This is just based off how you like to feel on the court. So. Get you something that's good for you, man. This is just good for me. Outside of that, man, thank you guys for watching. I'll be sure to keep the videos rolling. Uh, be sure to, you know, like the video. Let me know what you think. If you have a pair of these, uh, let me know if you feeling them. And what's your favorite colorway? You with the 2K joints or you with the original? Both are Gatorade collabs. If I had to choose, I think I would rock out with the 2K a little more than the traditional joints. But, um... Both are nice, both are pretty good. Like the little, the little sweat that you see that's in, like on the Nike check, on the swoosh, that's tough, man. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm just talking now. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, leave some positive comments. If they're not positive, I'm probably going to delete it and block you. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and I'll see y'all on the next one. It's Jay, and I'm out. Yeah, you was doing it when you was Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Jones, yeah. <laughs>